All right, guys. This is an easy video how to set uh, any retro base, one terabyte, four terabyte, two terabyte, 16 terabyte. All my drive uh, need to be set as D, as you know. But for some reason, some people, uh, it makes sense, but some people has already a D drive set to D and they cannot change it. So the solution, I'm gonna show you how to symlink all the folder uh, from my drive to your D drive. All right, so like you see in this video, I have my vault name drive uh, is D. That's my actual D drive, it's not the retro B's, like uh, for your example, and I plug my B's. Every D drive B's are named something like retro B's, D, uh, light gun, two terabyte, D, whatever, but the, the D drive is, it's written on the name. So what you're gonna do, you can, change the letter for my drive, the B's D drive, you can set the letters you want, any letters you want from this manager. Uh, always choose a letter that doesn't uh, match another drive you're gonna plug from the retro B's. If you buy my 112 retro B's, there is the D, E, O, P, Q, R, S drive. So don't use one of these letters, so right click, on my B's drive, name it any letters that you're never gonna use. Uh, let's say um, uh, G, all right? So I changed my retro B's D drive as G. Now, every time you're gonna boot your PC forever and ever, the B's should be uh, G in my example. So every time you boot the PC for the, after that, just make sure it's always G because it's not gonna work. So that's it, you can close this manager. I have my actual D drive, I cannot change the drive. Letters, I have, I have my B's G. Go on Discord, go on the installation. Uh, I'm talking about Simlink and there is a download. Download it to your download folder. Close Discord. Open the, I have two time, I'm gonna delete it. Um, unzip it. and boot it. It's called Simlink Creator, it's portable. It's not an installation, it doesn't install on your C drive at all. All right, it's very straightforward, okay? There, we, there is one, two, three paths to, uh, to tell the program to Simlink. The first path is gonna ask, please select the place where you want the Simlink. So of course, we want to Simlink my drive, guess what? On your actual D drive, right? So we press Explorer, PC, and select your actual D drive, the one you, you already have. So we want to symlink directly on root of D drive. What's the name? So the name, it's gonna be, open the B's drive, and every folder, because it's different from the one terabyte, two terabyte, uh, 16 terabyte, 4 terabyte. Usually it's almost the same folder, but you need to symlink every folder that you're gonna find. Not the files, just the folder. So we, we start with the first one. We copy the name of it, and we give him, he says now give a name to the link. So I name it as my first folder, and after he's gonna ask, please select the path to the real folder. You want to know where is that uh, retro bees, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's in, now it's in bees G. So we click on it. Yeah, it's always go on the bottom and click OK. So that's it. Now when we're going to create link, it's going to create the link. So the first, please select the path where you want it. It's your D drive. What's the name? It's the name of the first folder. After we're going to do the second, third and whatever. And where is that folder? It's in G. That's it. It should be uh, write it symbolic link, create. He's gonna say symbolic link uh, for blah, 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 retro bees well, uh, from G drive, it's, it was create. So let's go to the D drive, see? So my first folder is symlink to your D drive. So now every path, everything that RetroBees need from the D drive, 
it will pass from this link. So if I click on it, see, I'm on my Vault D drive. I click RetroBeast that it's not there, but it's same link. I open it, but it's empty now because I, I did a, but is, it is path to the, uh, to the uh, actual uh, G drive. So what we're gonna do, take the second folder from my GB's drive. You don't need to change the D drive. It's always uh, the first path, always gonna be the D drive. We just rename. Sorry, we need to delete all that. So what's the name of the second path? Arcade. Uh, where is that arcade? Arcade is on the G. Press OK, and that's it. Create link. It's very easy. So now, see, my arcade is there. And you do that for every single folder from my D drive. And it doesn't need to be uh, set as D drive in this manager because it's all sim link right there. Uh, you need to reboot the PC when you finish your last sim link. Reboot the PC, do your installation from the, the wiki uh, D drive, that it's uh, G on my uh, example. Do your installation and stuff like that. But it should work. So, uh, I did it on multiple uh, devices and it works. Okay, that's the way you sim link uh, another drive to another drive. It's very, very easy. That's it, guys. Enjoy. And don't forget, always keep your uh, beast. Uh, the, the, this manager, you set the letters, should be always like, for my example, my beast D, D drive is, is G. So, as long as it's G and sim link to D, a retrobase will think that the G drive, it's a D drive. Thanks for watching, guys.